I'm with the first Phosphate CEO, John, how are you? Very good, Tracy. Thank you for having me. It's great to see you. PEDAC 2024 has been colossal. What were your objectives here? Because I'm certain you have government, business, investors. What were your priorities? Yeah, I think the priority was really government. It was a, a good, good spot to have a, you know, a lot of leaders from the province, uh, Canada, uh, international, also the US uh, involved. So yeah, it was a good meeting place because you know everyone's got to be here, right? So it's like you, instead of you having to go to 10 different cities, everybody comes to you. So it's a one good time that Canada really shines and has everybody come and show up. The other thing we've been asking CEOs since PDAC started was three reasons why investors should shove everything off their computer desk and do due diligence on you. What would be the three most competitive reasons to get involved in First Phosphate? Yeah, well, as far as we know, Tracy, we're the only company in the world that's fully dedicated to extracting and purifying phosphate, specifically for the lithium iron phosphate battery industry. Um, other companies in phosphate are usually into fertilizer, but we have a real focus, which is really this, this battery metal sector. So that would be the first uh, reason. Uh, second reason I think would be, you know, our management and our board, we're extremely well connected. We're very hardworking. We're a very diverse group of individuals. And number three, we are sitting in, on the, in the area with the world's purest uh, phosphate uh, issued from uh, volcanic rock, which is perfect for making very high grade purified phosphoric acid which is the precursor for LFP battery. Well, you've had a lot of news lately. In fact, you've had so much news, it's hard to keep up. Can you tell me what you think is your most significant piece of news in the last month? Uh, well, I think the last month was really telling, like we actually were able to take um, uh, phosphate ore from our properties and we were able to convert that to um, phosphate concentrate, that is to really refine it. And the phosphate concentrate was sent to our partner Preon in Belgium and they were able to make a purified phosphoric acid with it, which is the holy grail of, of phosphate, which is the highest form of phosphate, which then goes into the, into the battery. So we're able to get from, from our igneous rock into the purified phosphoric acid. Experts are telling us that the LFP market hasn't even begun in North America. You're arguably at the uh, one of the only players. Yeah, so you know we had this vision on uh, LFP battery very early. Uh, we've been working on this project for about two years. We saw the LFP battery tidal wave coming from Asia to North America. We believed in it and we positioned for it. And now we're here to, to reap those rewards. Um, you know, 66% of battery output in China in the first two quarters of 2023 was LFP battery. Of course, there's people, there's naysayers out there that say first phosphate can't possibly be doing everything that they're doing. Talk to those people, please. Oh, what are they saying exactly, Tracy? I've never heard this before. <laughs> well, um, for starters, you kind of defied gravity recently by raising capital in a very difficult market. Can you talk to us about how you did that and touch on that huge $170 million line of credit that you have with Exxon that you've negotiated? Yeah, so uh, on your first point, the capital raise in December of uh, 2023, we went out on a $2 million capital raise and we ended up raising $8.2 million. Um, so I, I just think we worked very hard. I think the, the project uh, is very well um, positioned. I think the capitalization of the company because of the struggles in the junior markets was, was in a very good position. And I think investors believe in, 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 in what we're doing. So, you know, we were oversubscribed in a market where, you know, people aren't even going out for financings right now because it's so difficult. So that's number one. And then, yes, um, XM Bank, we have a line of credit in place with XM Bank for currently the opening line is $170 million. Uh, us and that's for the the building of our um, mine purified phosphoric acid plant or lfp cathode active material plant and again because you know we are one of the very few uh ways um, for phosphate to be produced on a grand scale for lithium iron phosphate battery in north america there's a strategic value to the u.s government to the to the u.s military and we're sitting right up in the in the aluminum uh, valley of quebec in the saguenay lac saint jean area where there's wonderful infrastructure so to add on the LFP uh, battery to that is, is a no-brainer. And there's also a, a NATO air base, base Bagotville, right in, right in the area as well. So it's a secure investment for, for U.S. government to come in and support a project like this that'll be very important for civilian and military use in America. And of course, you seem to be announcing a number of partners. So obviously, a lot of people are looking at you and want to get in on first phosphate. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? 
Yeah, so you know, our idea was um, when we look at phosphate, we look at phosphate as a technological material as opposed to a fertilizer. We look at it almost, you could call it a battery material, a battery metal. That's what we look at, at it as, but it's a very new thing that's developing in North America. Um, these uses for phosphate have not been used traditionally in North America. There, there is still barely no LFP production in North America. So what's important to develop is a supply chain for that. So in order to, to, to develop a supply chain, you have to start from uh, you know, a phosphate ore, go to phosphate concentrate, purified phosphoric acid, LFP cathode active material, and then that goes into battery cells and into battery packs and eventually into cars or energy storage systems. So we've had to work with partners to define that whole supply chain. There are all those companies out there looking at various sectors of the uh, LFP battery supply chain, but bringing them all together brings a, together a world-class uh, group of companies that are here to build a supply chain together with us. And that's one of our pride is not only, you know, starting at the very beginning, which is the raw material, which is the phosphate, but also showing and creating the whole value chain right down to offtakes, where we have offtakes of about you know, 46,000 tons, uh, 23 gigawatt hours of LFP cathode active material by uh, 2028, developing slowly from 25, 2025 onwards. I'll tell you, first phosphate has gotten so much done in the last 90 days. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask you what we as shareholders should anticipate in the upcoming quarter. Wow, upcoming quarter. So right now it's a very exciting time. Um, we are drilling 25,000 meters um, in Saguenay. That's an incredibly large drill program. It's probably one of the largest drill programs that's going on right now uh, in the province of Quebec or anywhere in Canada. That's because we already understand the, the, the phosphate ore body from earlier drilling that we did of 4,200 meters. So, you know, we're expecting results here in, in the coming weeks. And um, we've got two drill crews uh, on the ground. We've got three uh, rigs going and we expect all those 25,000 meters to be drilled uh, within the next uh, three months. So that is our, really our big catalyst, um, you know, where we'll, we'll, we'll be uncovering, you know, a, we hope a world-class uh, phosphate deposit right at 70 kilometers from the port of Saguenay, right, uh, you know, at five kilometers from hydroelectricity, at five kilometers from Provincial Road, um, in an area where, you know, the snow belt, it's outside of the snow belt, we're well supported by the two municipalities in the area and the local ind indigenous group. So a project with feasibility. Well, we can certainly see why people are investing in First Phosphate. As always, John, it's a real pleasure. Thank you, Tracy. Likewise.